this video, I'm going to reveal three money lies that cause financial self-destruction. If you believe these lies about money, you're never going to reach your financial goals. But don't worry, I'm here to help. Hey, I'm Dr. Brad Klontz, your financial psychologist. On this channel, we help you transform your relationship with money, master the psychology of wealth, and live a life of abundance. So if you're new here, please subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss anything. So here's the first money lie that'll keep you from achieving the financial success and financial freedom you deserve. Money lie number one, good people shouldn't care about money. This lie falls into the category of money avoidant money scripts and it's pure poison. Look, if you see money and rich people as being bad, you will sabotage yourself. I see it happen all the time. This money lie will keep you stuck and if you believe it, you'll never have the success you want and deserve. It'll mess with your head. You'll feel guilty when you have money. You'll give it away to people. People you know will misuse it and won't pay it back. Stop doing that. If you think money is bad, your subconscious will work very hard to get rid of it. You'll overspend. You'll let your bills and bank statements pile up and you'll try to forget about money. Now for sure, there's plenty of examples of people who care about money way too much, doing terrible, terrible things. I got it. But there's also many, many examples of wealthy people doing great things in the world. So what should we do? Okay, so do me a favor. Amass a huge amount of wealth and do some great things in the world with it. Pinky swear? <laughs> you got it. Money lie number two. Money will solve all of my problems. This money lie falls into the category of money worship scripts. It tells you that a magic pile of money will solve all of your problems. It'll bring you power, freedom, and the joy you crave. You'll live happily ever after, right? Uh, no. Now look, I get it. Money could help you out. I mean, I know I would like more money, but guess what? More money doesn't make you happier. Not at all. It's a huge lie. In fact, coming into a bunch of money all of a sudden is much more likely to create a bunch of anxiety and drama for you. I know you don't believe it would happen to you, but it would. So don't become a money and having more stuff worshiper and try to earn or spend your way to happiness. It's a losing battle. It won't work. And people with this belief are more likely to run up big credit card bills trying to buy what money can't give them. Happiness ever after. Money is a tool. No more and no less. So if money isn't the key to happiness, how do we get happiness? If you want happiness, I mean true happiness, you need to experience it right now, in this moment, in your current reality. This is where the magic is. Go ahead, I'll wait. Got it? Great. All right, let's move on to money lie number three. Your self-worth equals your net worth. This money lie falls into the category of money status beliefs. It drives the keeping up with the Joneses, overspending, hamster on a treadmill trap, obsessing about outward displays of wealth to convince your family or friends that you've made it, that you're somebody. This leads to high credit card debt, overspending, lower net worth, and even gambling problems. This money lie can destroy your financial life. So am I a failure if I'm not where I want to be financially? You are worth so much more than how much money you have or how much money Money you make. Never forget that. Nice. Don't fall prey to these money lies. They're at the heart of financial self-sabotage and can cause you all kinds of financial nightmares. Special thanks to Hyder College of Business at Creighton University for helping sponsor this channel. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, please subscribe and make sure to check out the video description below for links and resources. We'll see you next time.